In this episode, I just want to quickly demonstrate how to save a castle that's under siege. What I did was I used my influence to assemble an army. You click create army and you spend influence like here. There'll be people that like this th without the check mark that you can click on to put in your army and the amount of influence is over here. These were the only ones left that I could get. But any he, he has 480 that's attacking my castle. But I have 375 defenders. Roughly two thirds of that is the militia. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unpause it and simply wait for him to attack the castle and his numbers will go down. And once he's adequately less than me, I will attack him. So the basic steps are, you see your castles under siege, um, gather an army and head to the area where the siege is at. And you'll see how many troops they have. And then uh, simply wait on, hopefully you have enough people in your castle to, um, wait to when they're of adequate strength for you to fight them. And that's how you defend a castle. This castle's on the border and we're fighting. Eric's army looks like he's approaching. I don't want Pendraic Castle, I'll give it away. I got to watch out for this guy because the two together will be a problem. How could he create an army? There's nothing. Hold on. He has 932. Where do you get all those people from? Oh, there's people available. Well, I'm adding these three to my army. Okay, Valandia is offering peace, and I want the opportunity to fight this guy. So I'm going to attack him now in order to avoid going to peace and losing the opportunity to fight him. On my order! 
course. Infantry! Forward! Forward! Form a wall! Soldier, move! Loose formation! Orders! Move! Forward! Make a square! Horsemen, move! Square formation! Cavalry, move! Horse archers! I really need to split these up in the two groups. Forward! Stand apart! F2, F3, we'll put them in a loose formation. Okay, ready. And I'll do Troops! F1, F4. Onward! F1, F4 tells them to advance towards the enemy in formation. Cavalry, follow me! Horse, kill them all! After me! Cavalry, follow me! Cavalry was getting too far up. Well, you're free to go. You fought 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 well, you're free to go. And I take the high value prisoners first. Look at the promotions and the ones on horse. I actually prioritize that. I think they're more valuable, but I don't know. Okay, so you see how much loot you get out of a fight like this. And I've been able to upgrade several of my people. 
and you relate my relation increases with somebody with every fight now the peace offer um i'm going to abstain because if you if i vote this way i'll decrease relation with olek if I vote the other way, I'll decrease my relation with Ragnvad. Not that it matters because it stays up at 97. It'll keep on going up. I could just vote here. It doesn't matter. Um, we're at war with three people, so we probably need to be a team. 